Welcome to do by DJ's PRC. Today we have an update on this printer. Ender 3 Max. Uh, a while back I showed a little bit how to do some stuff with the CR Touch or a BL Touch. And I did speak that I was about to change the main board and this guy here for a Big Tree uh, SK, SKR. Uh, I did not film that part, but it is done. The new board's in it. The old Creality board, this is the 422, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 422, was giving me issues. And at first, I didn't think it was the board. I thought maybe it was something with the printer. I played and played, did setting, tried to do some fine tuning. Uh, even one of my friends tried himself uh, that pretty deep and pretty printing. And even himself couldn't make it work. I decided, okay, let's let's order this uh, this board here. It is the Big Tree SKR Mini E3 V3.0. Uh, it might be a little bit better board today, uh, or maybe a version 3.1. But at the time when I bought this, it was the uh, SKR3 E3 for Curiality, for Ender 3, should I say, uh, was the highest one. And believe me, if you're asking yourself the question, is it worth it? Because I did in the beginning myself. And today, I don't regret it. Seriously, I really don't. Uh, it's different night and day with this board. Now, stock the board comes with Marlin for Creality built-in. I'm not running Marlin on this machine anymore. I am uh, running Clipper through main, main cell too. Uh, I still kept the, the screen on the side here. Why not? But I do have a seven inch screen right here on top that I can control the complete printer to A to Z. Um, I won't pause it because it is printing right now. But I can pause it, cancel, fine tune, even go in settings with it. What you can do on your computer, you physically do here. I can start prints from here. I can do everything. I don't need to have my main computer on to be able to do something. A little bit like in the beginning when you had your printer, you pop in your SD card, go on your screen, select whatever you wanted. And the other option that I really love about this new board silent stepper motors the drivers by now I'm not sure if you can really hear it I hear a lot of fans are running around my other Ender 3 Max that is pretty much bone stock yes it has a build touch it has a Bowden uh, Besides that, it's pretty much stock. It still has a stock extruder, uh, filament uh, detector stock. Yes, the wheels, the adjustment wheels have been upgraded to aluminum. But besides that, this printer is bone stock. It's running right now. Not printing, but it's running. The fans are on. If I turn around and find my switch, Turn it off. It's a lot more silent in this room right now. I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, but that printer is running. Now, if I come closer to it, yes, you'll hear it. But what I love about the Big Tree Big Tech boards, that if it doesn't need the fans, they won't run it. The fans in the motherboard to keep it cool, it won't run. When you turn your printer on, like this guy here, when I turn it on, this fan starts running. The main board fan starts running. And I say, you know, full of noise. If you don't mind, that's fine, don't worry. But when I start this guy up, it's dead silent in this room. You don't hear anything. The other thing I did to this printer here is I remove my BL touch. It's not defective. 
still works great. I just went with uh, the sear touch. Uh, remember correctly, because this is like a, a hollow effect. And this, the plunger itself, it's magnet. If you pull it, it stays out. There's more chance for something happens and stays out that you will hit it and break it. Now I do have spares, but this guy here, you pull on it, goes back inside. That's the other thing too, why I upgraded, not really upgraded, switch to the CR touch. Now, this guy has a CR touch, VL touch. My Ender 2 Pro that's right here has a CR touch. Did I really see a difference from probing wise? No. It's major, minimal should I say, not major. Um, before doing the switch, I did look up a little bit, a couple of videos people did on the main difference of these two's here. On paper, a little bit superior, not much, but will you see the difference? No, you won't. I just wanted to do it. Uh, I just want to take full advantage of this board. The other thing too with this board that I love is running clipper, a lot more customizable. Yes, in this you could, if you wanted, let's say do a bed level, you could, but on the clipper, it's a lot more precise. You can choose your waypoints. You can choose even this 100% the speed. The other thing I do love about Clipper is let's say you need to do a modification to your config file. Modded. Hit save and restart. It restarts itself and you're printing. With Marlin, because this guy here is running a custom Marlin, uh, you need to do something. You have to rewrite the complete firmware. Do a mod on it, flash your SD card, Put the firmware, pop the SD card, turn the printer on, let it boot itself. And then, okay, you test it. Oh, I forgot something. Oh, I wrote a code wrong. Then you have to go out and restart A to Z. With Clipper, you don't need to. And there's other options that are coming. Uh, I will have the uh, accelerometer. Uh, ADXL345 with a uh, Raspberry Pi Pico that I'm going to use to find the frequency that my printer stops vibrating. That way I'll remove any, pretty much close to removing any lines uh, that the printer creates for me. I won't show how I do this. Simple reason is I'm a little, yes, I am technical on stuff, uh, but software-wise programming, I'm not the best. And I don't want to uh, give you bad information to you guys. That's not what I do. Uh, I'm more, like I said, manually with my hands. I'll build something, no problem. That's why if you are uh, subscribed to my channel, you'll see I do a lot of RC stuff. And this is part of my uh, hobby for the RCs. Once I'm ready to do it, I'll calibrate it and I'll come back for another upgrade, but I'll upgrade another update on the printer. But I will link a video uh, from a YouTuber that where I physically got the idea and how to do it. Uh, he is Canadian too. I will post it when I'm ready. Uh, I didn't receive the parts yet, they're on order. But basically it removes any uh, harmonics or frequent, bad frequency on it to keep the printer 100%. You can even print faster with Clipper. Now, I didn't build this printer to do super fast printing with it. Um, and again, <laughs> forgetting about this, I do have another upgrade coming for this printer uh, that's in link of the dual Z that I have. I do have dual Z rods, but that I will make a video on. So that is simple to do. There's a couple of videos out there, but not on this kit, not the way mine is going to be done. But I will show that too. That's another future coming video. But besides that, for the moment, the printer prints great. I cannot complain. Uh, like I said, 
I love this board because it's super silent. I can't, I, seriously, if you find your board that's noisy, get yourself the SKR Mini E3, E for Ender, Model 3. This board will do the Ender 3 Max. There's a couple of Enders it will do. I'm not sure if it can do the um, Ender 3 V2 because it does have dual screen and you need to update the screen. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Don't quote me on this. Go on the Big Tree Tech's website. Go take a look. Now again, this video is not sponsored by Big Tree Tech. If they want to, I'll say yes for sure. More upgrades for the printer? Why not? You never finish with upgrading. Uh, the other upgrades I want to do, I want to add another webcam. That's another thing you can do with this screen here. Physically, you can go uh, and check your webcam on the screen itself directly. Cameras. And you have it on your screen. Now, I am in front of the printer itself, doesn't really matter, but sometimes you want to adjust your, where it is. I move this one sometimes when I need to go to the printer and I want to reposition it back where I need it. See, that's another way to do it. But if you guys have any questions or comments, post them them below. I gladly answer you guys. And if you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I do appreciate it, it helps the channel a lot. And hit that like button. Thank you for watching.